Hello everyone, Randy here, the uh, PC Elitist, and we're playing Farming Simulator 17 on Drummer Farms here on the uh, PC Master platform. Again, for our PC versus console competition. And since last episode, went ahead and fast forward time here till the next morning. The rest of our fields are now ready to harvest. Uh, also, between uh, fast forward, I went ahead and finished up baling field 23. So we got this uh, field completely baled. Um, I forgot to check the bale counter. Let's see, is the counter still in there yet? I think that is 180, I believe. Unless that's the fuel level, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's the, that's the one problem with the bale counter mod. It doesn't overlay properly. So I don't know if that's zero or if that's actually maybe the fuel level. It might be. But anyway, there's a bunch of bales on the field there. And let's see, what else did we do? I think that was pretty much about it. Just pretty much just uh, let the hired workers there finish uh, bailing that field. And so that uh, field is done, and we'll probably start wrapping the bales here this episode. But for starters, we got 100,000 liters of silage in here. Uh, during the night as well, it filled up, so I went ahead and emptied it again so the next 100,000 could empty. So again, the money we have now, that's where that came from. So all we have to do, and again, what I'm doing here, I'm putting the, uh, the silo on manual uh, fill so it doesn't automatically fill this and then once uh, once it's uh, full I just uh, change it to automatic and watch the money roll in out of curiosity what's the uh, price looking like and I've been uh, doing this by the way so hopefully the uh, price won't be too bad and uh, it actually isn't the greatest is it <laughs> yeah go figure we've been uh, selling a lot of silage uh, that by the way is why I want to do the bales as well because I know the uh, silage price is going to tank with us selling this much silage. So anyway, uh, this episode, get the uh, combine going here again. We can uh, keep rolling. Uh, as far as the combine goes, we're still using the uh, John Deere 8820 here and the header that goes with it. Uh, I did a little uh, testing off screen. I don't know what's wrong with this particular combine and that header. I didn't try that. But I went ahead and tried the uh, new Holland Harvester, and it works with the uh, McDon header. So we might switch out there from the uh, John Deere 8820 here to the new Holland and uh, use that instead. So we'll just uh, set up course plate unload our combine here. We'll just kind of put them in the middle of the field or so. Start, stop, drive course. He'll be good to go. He'll take care of himself. They stop playing away. Okay. Also, one other thing I want to do. Let's see what's here. You're not the right one. I not have a tractor on the fertilizer spreader. I might not. You know what? That's a good excuse to try a new tractor here. I've been wanting to try. Uh, I don't really care which map I tried on, but uh, seeing how we need a new tractor, this seems like a good one. And I think I've seen it as we went past it here. There it is. Minneapolis Moline. How much horsepower? 142. That Yeah, that should be enough for the fertilizer spreader, right? Duels, of course. Uh, yeah, I don't think we need no uh, front loader on that. Or do we? Nah, we shouldn't need no front loader. Oh, that was weird. There we go. Tab back to it. Let me add this in a group here. How about... Yeah, let me put in group two. So anyway, uh, Minneapolis Moline G1355. Over under hydraulic shift. Interesting. Definitely not the highest of detail models, but uh, kind of cool having a Minneapolis Moline here in Farming Simulator. And again, this should be a perfect for running our fertilizer spreader. Again, with uh, three levels of fertilization. We definitely have a lot of fertilizing that needs to be done. Which means I probably should figure out where the uh, fertilizer spreader's at, too. Assuming it's at the main farm here. Anyway, we're uh, sitting pretty good at money with the moment here. I'm kind of debating how we want to go about for the next step here. Uh, probably a chopper is going to be rather high on the list of things to get here next. 
So that'll probably be a big chunk of the money right there is uh, spending it on a chopper. Kind of leaning towards the uh, Crone chopper. Kind of the uh, chopper I'd like to get. Uh, we'll kind of look through the, map, uh, the mods, though, as well. We'll see if there's any mods. I know I have the uh, Kloss chopper as well. I haven't really used that one a whole lot, and that's pretty nice. Probably going to be a little more expensive than the, uh, the Crone, though. Not that we can't afford it at this point. And again, as you can see, the money is rolling in. Also, just a reminder again, if you want to check out uh, Thomas and McConsole's channel, he is, of course, playing on the Xbox for this uh, portion of the competition, so uh, make sure you go over and check him out, see what's how he's doing. You know, give him uh, some support and whatnot. You know, I'm sure he's in uh, desperate need of it, seeing how far behind he is. Uh, okay, no fertilizer spreader. Uh, okay, where's the fertilizer spreader? It wasn't on a tractor. Oh, you know what? I think it's actually on the field there, isn't it? That's right. It's on the field, I'm pretty sure. You know, and again, if you uh, watch Thomas McConsell's episodes, I find it rather amusing that uh, he has kind of some of the uh, same ideas as what I do as well. We're kind of both going the same route here. And, you know, maybe doing different things in different orders, but uh, we both kind of have the uh, same idea as to how to do it. Uh, you know, obviously, of course, he has different mods uh, than what I have, but uh, still kind of doing some of the uh, very similar things. And again, for those of you who haven't watched uh, one of these episodes before, uh, we do have a couple of goals. Uh, one of the goals, of course, being to own all the fields. And then 500 of each animal type. So 500 pigs, cows, and sheep. Uh, we, of course, have a few sheep at this point. Uh, speaking of sheep, probably should check on them. How are they doing? Uh, cleanliness, uh, they're not doing too bad. Currently have 32 sheep. I don't remember how many we started with, but uh, they're probably not reproducing uh, that terribly quickly. Why are you in traffic, I wonder? You'd have a clear shot right in front of you, but oh well, whatever. Uh, let's see what's here. I think I'm probably kind of at my hired worker limit here. We agreed to three hired worker limit. So if I count course play here, which I don't know if that counts or not, but uh, I do have three hired workers going one... Harvesting one, fertilizing, and then the course they work, or they're unloading the combine. So we'll uh, leave it at that. Okay. Yeah, we'll take you. We'll just leave the baler there. And we'll go pick up our bale wrapper. The uh, R.D. Allen AUL bale wrapper, of course. I mean, come on now, you folks expect me to use a different bale wrapper? I believe it's at the shop here yet. And our trailer for ore. The bales is at the shop yet as well. We'll be making some uh, bright green uh, marshmallows here. And uh, as Thomas uh, McConsell there pointed out, you know, I mentioned the inconsiderate person who parked his, their truck there in the road. Uh, Thomas was asking, how about the inconsiderate people that parked their houses there? Really makes it a difficult uh, corner there to uh, turn into the cell points there. Okay. And let's get it fired up here.
Very foggy morning here. Maybe we should uh, fast forward time just a little bit so we can see better. Eh, I won't worry about it. Let's see what's here. Oop, seven. Where's the mower at? Oh, you're on here yet. You know what? Do we want... Eh, debating. Do we want a second mower? We're mowing so much grass. It's getting rather annoying transporting this mower from kind of this side of the map to the other side all the time. Hey, one bale. Oh, two bales? Um, where did two bales come from? Oh, that's right. We were parked next. Okay, that's why. I think that's why it automatically loaded the next one, didn't it? So I think that's what happened. I mean, not that I'm going to complain if they're uh, reproducing out in the field here, but... Nope, oh, hit the post. This header just fits through the uh, gates, at least most of the gates anyway. There we go. I take it he all done selling there. So $123,000 from the biogas plant there. Now, like I said, the uh, price has really gone down. I think the last time I sold... Uh, we got closer to like 223,000. Well, you know what? I think we need to go around the other way, don't we? Yes, I think I remember that. Like I said, inconsiderate person that parked their truck there. Okay, now we're out. And we'll go wrap some more bales here. This is probably one of the more boring tasks, maybe, you know, bale wrapping, but hopefully it'll make us some good money. That must have been an auto save there. But uh, yes, definitely liking that uh, fermenting silo so far. Again, you know, it's just too bad the uh, silage price just drops in the tank all the time. Uh, I'm not really sure how to get around it either because, you know, again, we're, we have a lot of grass. Uh, we can sell silage, so... You know, unless we uh, stop selling for a while, the price probably isn't going to go up much. Oh, can't quite clear that one. That was close, though. Come on, car, get out of the way. You know, you're supposed to move over in your lane, too, when you see a vehicle like this coming. Oh, that truck actually stopped. <laughs> what do we do, scare him or something? Oh, 60 series is in traffic again. You in the same spot? It looks like it's pretty close. Yeah, we'll get you wrapping another set of bales here. Be maybe he thinks he can't make the turn, so he's just like giving up. I, I don't know. I guess that's actually probably a good thing rather than just trying to crash into something and you know mangle something up. Uh. It'll be just about wrapped there.
It's always fun getting the uh, mower through this uh, area here as well, up to the uh, main farm. Uh, one thing we can definitely do with the money as well is either get more sheep and or start on cows. Uh, definitely would like to get started on cows here as well, so that might be where a bunch of the money goes. We'll have to see once here. Uh, Minneapolis Plain is finished fertilizing. Perfect. I'm going to get the hired worker going on this then. What? Or well, I should be coarse, but I guess uh, field nine. Uh, did I, I thought I had a course play course for this, I guess not. Okay, well, you can create one then. Field 9. 5 meters starting at the location, let's say the northeast. We'll go south. One headland. That's what's worked pretty good so far. Generate that course. Save that as field nine, five meter mo. Should we organize that as well? Field nine. There we go. And drive the course. Uh, that doesn't quite look on the right spot, does it? That definitely doesn't quite look right. Let's uh, maybe back you up until you start the first waypoint and see if that makes a difference. There we go. Off by just a little bit. I'm not sure what uh, line he was going down there, but anyway. He's off. Nope, not that fertilizer spreader. That one. Did you actually finish? Yeah, pretty much. A little bit there left yet. Oh, that's kind of cool. I just noticed down in the HUD icon there, you actually got a little picture of the uh, Minneapolis Moline, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Man, yeah, there's like not a way to get from uh, this field here to those two. At least I don't think there is anyway. A little bit of a bush there, but yeah, it's a fence back there, so we can't get through there. Oh well. Uh, over here, on the other hand, we can uh, just uh, sneak through the opening here. Unfortunately, like I said, that opening's a little bit too small for our combine. Just speaking of the combine, looks like he just finished. Yes, he did. Okay, moving him on to the next field then. I guess that one is uh, sunflowers, isn't it? Okay, so. Fortunately, I still don't have a solution for this yet. So we'll just uh, push the header through again. Yeah, like I said, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to get rid of the old uh, John Deere here. Or, yeah, that maybe upgrade to a different one. That's always an option, too. But, like I said, I did try it with the uh, new Hollands. And the uh, McDonald header works for that. 
So probably once we're done harvesting here, we'll probably be uh, switching out uh, combines then. And yeah, kind of weird how the uh, McDon header won't work on this combine. Never really uh, seen that with a header before that uh, does that. that. That's really weird. You know, again, like I mentioned uh, last episode there, I've seen it where the headers will push into the ground. And, you know, prevent the combine from moving. But not where it just raised up in the air and the combine can hardly move. The only thing I can think of is maybe like a horsepower requirement, but... Again, I haven't uh, seen that in combine headers before, so. And, you know, even if there was, you know, 8820 here, should be able to run a 35-foot uh, grain platform there. Might be a little big for it, but should be doable. And this is something you could probably have course play do as well if you wanted to. Uh, the only thing is you might have an issue with the bales that have rolled out of their row. So especially like down in that part of the field there, you can see there's a whole conglomeration of bales down there. Oh. And we need to... Uh, you know, got the tractor there yet. Stop you uh, from manual or automatic unload. We'll just put you on manual. So next time, again, when it fills up, which there's not that much in there this time, only 14,000 liters. Uh, we should have another load of grass here pretty quick. But uh, and again, we'll uh, wait till it's full. Maybe the price will recover a little bit, hopefully. Probably accidentally bumped the bale like that and it just keeps on rolling. Okay. Grab the other tractor here and we'll pick up our bale trailer. See what's maybe we can get, uh, pick up a load of bale and sell at least one load of bales here this episode. Drive control shuttle shifts on again. Not sure what is up with that. That's the second time that's happened on this tractor, which is kind of weird. Still don't understand how that is able to even turn on. Like I've mentioned before, with the uh, drive control shuttle shift, uh, I've got it disabled at the mod level. So at the mod level, it's uh, coded to be disabled. And then even in the drive control config, it is also disabled. And uh, somehow it still manages to turn on yet. Rather annoying. And as you folks can see, no uh, auto-loading trailer here. Well, this is an auto-loading trailer technically, I guess, but not a uh, one with the auto-load script on it. How come you didn't uh, hold that bail up? I don't know. That's kind of weird. Oh, 
and actually pick up the bale I thought it would. There we go. But uh, again, like I was mentioning there about the uh, automatic loading bale trailers there, uh, we kind of agreed not to use them. Supposedly, I guess. I don't necessarily recall making that agreement, but uh, <laughs> I guess uh, Thomas McConsell thinks we did, so... We're sticking with a little bit more reasonable loading bale trailer here, I guess you could say. Oh, Helper Kato has a full, that's right. I did not bring the uh, course bay tractor over there to unload you, did I? Oh. Are you full? No, I think there's room for more here yet, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, there is. Didn't want to pick it up for some reason, I guess. Oh, come on now. You're not going to load either one of those? Oh, there we go. And let's see what's group two. Stop you. Unload that course. Ah, we seem to be getting a good amount of soybeans here from these fields. I think I have one more field of soybeans yet. Field 28 there. And, of course, the uh, field across from us there is sunflowers. You know what, if I don't have a course by worker on this, I can uh, hire a worker for cultivating here. Oh, who do I have nearby? Bent, I think, is on this field. Yes, he is. Actually, you know what, I think we can do no-till with this uh, drill. Better yet. Oh, what shall we plant? We should probably look at planting what we need for animals, which, eh, I don't know, what do we really need? I want some barley. Let's do barley. Actually, let's check. What are the barley prices at? Barley prices are pretty good. Okay, let's do uh, barley then. Barley on the list here. Double check. This field doesn't need to be uh, plowed, does it? It does not. Okay, good. Oh, shuttle controls on this one, too. Interesting. There must be some buggy thing that turns that on somehow. I know we've had it on the multiplayer server sometimes, too. It just turns on somehow. It's like, how is that turning on? Don't know. I think this is full. Yeah. Okay, that'll be uh, probably a good way to wrap up the episode here. We'll sell our first load of wrapped round bales. And actually double-check... Uh, can I see when, when these are on here? I cannot. These are actually silage at this point, right? Doesn't, uh, it says silage, okay. Wanted to make sure like I didn't have some mod on that would uh, cause them to take time to ferment. Not that there's anything wrong with that, I just have to wait then. Don't want to be selling grass bales because those are pretty much worthless. At least on most maps they are anyway. And if you use the uh, Snatter or the uh, Seasons mod, like I am on Snatter Tins, they are absolutely worthless. Zero. Eh, it's too bad there's not an entrance through there because the uh, cell point's like right over there. I don't know if I can make that turn from here either. I might kind of have to go around, I don't know about the long way here, but to go around this way to get in there. I 
Okay, we need to turn here. No, I think it's actually, yeah. It's inside by the uh, cell point here. Now, I don't know if you actually have to be in the building for this or not. It shows, you know, based on the little yellow lines there for the corners, the cell point's outside the building, so... We'll see what's if we can uh, just tip it right outside the building here. Then we don't have to drive inside. I don't, I don't know what the collisions are on this, so if this would get stuck or not, but... Hey, it sells. Perfect. Uh, 1675 a bale. Not too bad. And again, nice thing about doing it this way, as far as I know anyway, uh, the price on this does not change. Uh, though, again, keep in mind... That's what, about $500 per liter of silage there. Uh, if you sell it at the biogas plant, you're getting about $1,200 per liter, so almost a double. So again, you know, money-wise, you'd probably be better off actually doing it silage with this, but uh, you know, for something different here. Anyway, folks, looking at the time, looks like it's time to uh, wrap up the episode. So with that, if folks have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to uh, leave them below. Uh, reminder again, make sure you go check out uh, Thomas McConsell's channel, see what's how he's doing. And he is on the Xbox there, and I'll have a link in the description there below. And I'll try to remember to throw one up in the uh, start of this video there as well for his uh, video. So with that, uh, if folks have any comments or questions, uh, be sure to leave them below, and as always, thanks for watching, and until uh, next time.